Hey everyone, if you just saw my last vlog, we now have to back up and turn around because of this. I'm pretty sure I'd bottom out. The culvert is washed out. The culvert failed. So right now we're backing up. Only have to back up a little bit. Only pulled into this road maybe a couple hundred feet. Or I think I'm going to spin it around. I'll try turning it around. I want to stay away from the drainage ditch because the road is very slippery at the moment. But thankfully it's still half frozen. But in this vlog you might see some places where the road is like... We're going to sink nearly a foot into the mud. You see we just drove over the snow bank. This is an unplowed road. They'll plow it every now and then just so they can log it in the winter. Because logging is oftentimes easier in the winter because the roads are frozen. There's not a lot of mud. They could also get logging machinery into swamps and log swamps. But not this year. They didn't feel the need to do it. This is only plowed for an off-grid community in this area. But let's see what we can find out here as far as mud. And maybe on the way back we can also check out one culvert pipe that sometimes has issues. It's a little offshoot, about five minutes off of this main artery. And from the recent thaws, there's lots of areas like this. See how rocky it is? I could tell water was going across it because the culvert just could not handle the water. So this had water going over it. That's why the soil was washed out, but the rocks are left behind. Wasn't enough current to move the rocks. Sometimes it'll completely wash out the road, but not this time. Now we're driving through a very muddy area, but there's much, much more muddy areas that we'll see coming up soon. So basically the areas that are receiving more sunshine are going to be a lot more muddy because they'll be able to thaw much deeper. We just had a couple days of rain. So that makes it a lot more difficult, the road conditions. I think we're about to drive into a gravel pit that the logging company uses. In the summertime, a lot of people will drive through this giant puddle for fun. Right over here. It's probably pretty frozen at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, it's frozen enough that I'm able to ride up on top of the ice. Not, not even breaking it. But I think these roads are going to get a lot worse before they get better. That's how it is. This is called mud season. Mud season is when there's no log trucks at all. They want the roads frozen or they want the roads dry in the summer. During these freeze and thaw cycles, they'll often have nighttime logging only, and they won't let the trucks go onto the roads once they get soft. They have to wait for them to freeze up again at night. I've seen areas do that, like my camping video that was titled, um, what was that one called? Camping Underneath a Logging Bridge. That one there, one of the guys explained to me that they only log during certain hours. Now we're gonna drive down a road and take a look at some culverts that sometimes have an issue. They plowed this road, so they must have been doing some sort of logging down here over the winter time because there's nothing else down this road. But mud season will put a whole end to the logging. Well, it'll put an end to the log trucks. The workers will still drive out here with their pickup trucks and they'll run the heavy machinery and they'll just make giant stockpiles of logs on the edge of the road. So the next time the trucks can come out, they'll just make many, many loads getting them out. The heavy machinery also, sometimes they'll just drive it down the road. 
heavy machinery is very good in the mud because it has chains, massive tires, so there's no problem with them getting stuck. But usually they'll put the heavy machinery onto a flatbed tractor trailer, but this time of year they can't do that kind of thing. that it's the sun starting to go down who knows we might see a moose on these days when you don't have um, days like this when it's starting to get warmer out well, I know we're not in spring yet it's only March but these warmer days are what moose like moose seem to be most active on nice early spring days when it starts to thaw out past couple of nights tonight it's not even going to hit the freezing mark it's going to be close but not quite then we'll get a snowstorm this area will be covered in a foot of snow in just a couple of days but it is that time of day we could see moose now that the sun is starting to get dim they love this time of day moose also love forest like this with lots of evergreen i think they like the cover of it they don't like hardwood forest nearly as much you see all the little teeny sinkholes that we're driving over? Rocks get pushed up by frost heaves and they settle back. But the soil that was beneath that rock has already been taken away by groundwater, so that's when you have a problem. Right here is often, uh, we might have a clog. This is a lot higher than it usually is, the water levels in this area. So we're gonna turn around, get out, and take a quick look at this area, because this is what I came to see. This road here, will continue for a bit more. I have no idea where the logging activity would have been going on, but I know when I come here in the summer, the road just deteriorates more and more until you have to eventually turn around. There's just too much mud. So there's not much traffic. I'm just gonna turn around right here. Oop, pretty muddy on the edge, but it's okay. just have to make like a five-point turn. All right, we'll get out up here at this little lake, and who knows, we might have a good unclogging to do up here. Fortunately, we do not have camera number two today, so it's okay, we'll film it just like the older videos. We'll just run to the other side, and we'll show you a few before and after clips when we get that one edited together. Might also have to use the bathroom up here before we get this one going. So we'll just park. And I think this is one we'll be able to get open. Yeah, this water level is much higher than it should be next to this road. So we'll just park over here on the edge, get out and have a look. Good. All right, everyone. We got out of the vehicle and the water level's pretty high. The water coming out of the other end of the pipe is pretty fast. Maybe this is just acting as a retention pond because we've had so much rain. That's a possibility. The pipe is very small. It's only, I think, a 12 or 18 inch pipe. Then this goes down to another road we may or may not be able to check on. Depends on how deep the snow is if we try to drive down there. Quite beautiful out here. Look at this forest. Looks really nice. So the pipe is here somewhere. Far down below this water. And there's a grate. Probably thawed out, but we got to go ahead and get the big high boots on. It'll be a challenge regardless. All right, everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to find this pipe. We've done this one in the past, but it's definitely not coming out to its capacity. There's a grate on it. I'm gonna try to get the grate off of it so this can drain back. Then we'll come check on it again, maybe in a couple days and replace it. First is the challenge of finding it because the water is many feet deeper than it typically should be. Very deep. But let's see if we can figure out 
where it might be. Okay, I see current. Might not even have to be down in there. did something. Hear the ice cracking? Oh, let's go look at the other side. Oh, we just kicked it in. Look at it go. Wow. We just accelerated that whole ton. Once we're done here, we're going to take a drive downstream because I know where the next pipe is. We're going to attempt to at least if the road's open. All right, let's try to get that going a little bit more. All right, let's see if we can get the grate completely off now. So this right here would be a dangerous situation to be down in front of it because now you have this pipe acting as a siphon. You could literally get stuck against this thing or pulled. That's called differential pressure. And in certain cases, if the pipe's deep enough, a pipe this big, it can force you through it. Your whole body will just get crushed into it. So that's why you don't want to be down close to these things when they're running at this capacity. I think we got it fully open now. It's very murky. I'm using the rake to feel around at what I'm doing. I'm trying to get the grate up and out of here. Basically, the only reason it has a grate is so the beaver builds a dam in front of it instead of inside it where no one can get it. It's winter. Beavers aren't going to do that right now. Actually, I've never seen a beaver here. Probably used to be an issue probably got trapped they're not here anymore I'm just trying to get the grate out it's a little challenging because the water is so strong right there I'll get it eventually I just got to keep trying but the pipe feels like it's at capacity Finally, I just couldn't see what way it was laying. I also unclogged so many culverts that I cannot remember what the grate looked like. We finally got it. By, by just tipping it over, we released all the water and even the blockage that was on it got swept off it. So now, just got to make sure the pipe is completely open.
a little bit of debris. But any blockage that would form on it now without the grate would be on the end, not inside without the help of the beaver. That ice is eventually going to start cracking now as it drops. Didn't even need to get the big high boots on for this one. I think this is its limit. Pond's not huge, it'll take a few hours for it to drain back, but it's getting dark so we're not going to do an update on it this time. I remember the first time I ever made a video here was we sent through giant blockages of grass clumps. So for now, it's beneficial to leave this thing off. Just gonna put it off to the side for now. Hopefully some random person out on the road doesn't steal it, but that probably won't happen here. And let me show you guys the other side of the road in just a second. All right, everyone, so now we're gonna take a ride down to the next culvert pipe. This right here, it's way above capacity by a couple of feet, so this will probably take the rest of the evening to drain back. And because it was pretty warm out, this right here thawed. You see, just because the sun went down, immediately started freezing up again. Around the edges is already defrosted, so you won't see any critical cracking until it drops a lot. Honestly, the edges there, that might be its new flood point because just a couple of days ago we got a lot of rain. The shape of the ice right here might be how big the pond was and that started floating. But also keep in mind, ice forms from the edge out. It also melts from the edge out. So that would be the first place it melts. So what do you guys think in the comments? Is this water on the edge because this whole piece of ice started floating as it flooded? Or is that because it started melting from the warmer weather? Probably a combination of both. Now, let's go see what the other side looks like. Blasting a whole ton, it'll probably look just about the same for a few hours. Good amount of water coming out. Now the grate will just get left there. Maybe road crews will put it back. Maybe we'll come back soon. But it's more beneficial the grate being off, especially with these constant floods we've been having. Because the grate is only there to stop debris from a beaver. A beaver will build it in the middle of the pipe where you can't really get to it easily without the proper equipment. But there has not been beavers here in years. You don't see chew marks anywhere from the beavers. I don't think the beavers are here. I have never even seen a beaver here. They probably put this grate here back before I even came out to do this type of stuff. All right, let's get in the truck and go for a ride. All right, everyone, now we're about to go down the road and continue. We're gonna find the next place. So down the road, we're about to take a right-hand turn, which is a road that goes about a half a mile below this culvert. There's another culvert. We're gonna see if this water made it down there yet. This is a pretty big blast. I remember there was a beaver pond that was abandoned like halfway between, which does help retain water, which may cause this to not go down there immediately but it's been years those dams are probably rotten and not really working anymore we're gonna see if we can find any water flow down there but these ones are not plowed let's see how the snow is I do see tire tracks coming out of here someone was in here recently there's also been a lot of turkey hunters around here recently the snow's not too deep so let's take this road it's slipping a little in the mud I see a bunch of footprints going down here. Actually, I don't see any tire tracks. It was just someone turning around. These might be the turkey hunters. We've been seeing a lot of turkey hunters out here this week. 
with bloodhounds and um, beagles, which they use to go get the bird. Yeah, this is pretty muddy. I can hear a lot of struggle in the engine. Sinking pretty deep, it feels. Take it easy. Because mud is often slippery, more slippery than the ice itself. There's a beautiful view up there. Look at all the mountains. I don't think we usually see that, or it just goes unnoticed. I think that's because the last time I was out here, there was so much wildfire smoke, you couldn't really see much. We are the first vehicle down here, it seems, this year. I don't even see the footprints anymore. Let's see how we're doing. Take it easy right here. Not too much hesitation. We just went over a culvert pipe. Yep, I think we'll make it the whole way. these areas that look snowy. Make sure we can see the grass, make sure the snow isn't where we bottom out. Honestly, right now I, I already put the mud tires back on for the year and they're much better than the winter tires. I feel like driving through the snow. Okay, there's no more snow up here. Doing good. Looks like we might have a pretty sunset later on today. And on the road out of here, I'll sh show you some of the mud. The mud is pretty bad today on some of the main arteries. Very, very difficult. Even here, it's very difficult. These tracks are probably from last season because there's no tracks in the snow. In front of us is a dead end. These tracks are where we want to go and it looks open. Looks like we can keep on driving for now. We are sinking quite deep though, so we gotta keep an eye on some of the rocks protruding up. Make sure we don't hit them. And this is where we're gonna turn around right here. There's a little fork forward, doesn't go anywhere. It ends in a couple hundred feet. If we turn right, that also ends, but right here is where we will find the culvert. So do you think the water made it here already? I don't think so, but we're gonna check out this pipe. So this road is completely impassable, but this dip right here is where the pipe is. We're gonna get out for a moment and take a look at it. All right, let's take a look down here. Someone drove in here a little bit. Probably didn't go that far. I could definitely drive through this, but it would leave a ton of scratches. Wouldn't want to do that. It's also probably going to be tick season soon. Ooh, we got some friendly moose tracks. So it looks like the water has not yet arrived. This is the culvert pipe right here. Anything blocking it? Nope. But I do not believe this is that gush of water yet. Hasn't made it down here yet, but this is where that water is going to eventually end up that we just released about a half a mile upstream. Nice and clear. Even if it wasn't clear, it doesn't matter. It's an abandoned road. All right, everyone. We're gonna continue on out of here. And I'll show you some of the very, very muddy conditions on the way out. mud on the main road. Okay, right here we're sinking about four inches. Not the worst. Now 
back into some snow. It's not too muddy. Bunch of potholes. I was out on these roads about a week ago. They were much smoother. They were slightly snow covered, but now lots of rain over the past week. Lots of potholes easily forming. Made it into a muddy mess. We're having to keep like our speeds below 20 at all times. Some of these roads can't even get 10. They're so bumpy. I'll show you some of that. We'll come up upon that very soon. Right here, this area, there's a whole ton of ruts. The water's been going over this road a whole ton. The pipe is probably just a little bit undersized because this amount of water I'm seeing definitely was not making it through that pipe. The amount of water that must have been going over here to cause all those ruts for that amount of area was extreme. A lot of rain, snow melt combined. Right here we have a brand new bridge they put in about two years ago. The older ones don't even have guardrails, but this was actually a giant culvert that got very eroded by the river, so they had to put a bridge in instead. Right here we got some good mud. Lots and lots of little potholes. Gotta drive through it slow. There's also a lot of frost heaving. Lots of frost heaving. That's what all this up and down is right here. It's like running over a bunch of speed bumps. All right, everyone, it looks
looks like we came up to another pretty big mud hole, but this is not the worst one yet. Sinking pretty deep, but nothing to be concerned about yet. A little bit deep, some of these ruts. Yeah, maybe eight inches down in one of those. This section of road, the sunset is starting to look really nice. Up here is a culvert pipe that is about to maybe even make this road impassable. A couple more heavy trucks, this might completely collapse if you can see that. Collapsed a little bit more since the last time we were out here, which was about two hours ago it seems, going over that point. getting muddy. The sunset is beginning to look very pretty at this point. section coming up. Sometimes you'll see me in videos pick up garbage with bags. Sometimes when I find plastic water bottles while unclogging a culvert, I'll throw it up by the road to collect and throw it out later. Sometimes when I'm in a city filled with so much garbage, I don't really care. And I'll just leave it there because the rest of the area is like that. But we're out in a pristine area and someone dumped a whole bunch of junk. Some low class individual dumped all this out here. But why? If they left it, anywhere on the side of the road in the city, it would have got immediately taken away. Well, I'm hoping somebody will eventually take this away, so let's try to haul some of this back up to the road real quick before it gets dark.
All right, and I know this, this logging company, unlike some of them, will pick this stuff up. Can't move the couch or the queen size mattress. Just the twin mattress, twin box spring, television, part of the sectional, a bunch of tires. I was able to get that out of there. So that probably would have kept going unnoticed. It looks like it's been there for a couple of seasons based on the grass over on top of it. So I know in this area that will get taken away. Why does dumping like this happen? Most towns charge a fee to get rid of each piece. Some towns as much as $50 per bulk item. That's why people can't afford it sometimes and they'll dump it out in these pristine areas. Why do they drive out here and waste the energy throwing it there? Why not just push it out of the pickup truck, leave it there so someone can actually pick it up instead of it being a pollutant forever? The TV got mercury in it. The mattresses and stuff, wood, metal, fabric, not a big deal. But these days, that fabric, it's plastic. That's not going away. It can turn into easier microplastics out here in the middle of nowhere. Never understood why people dump things off bridges and stuff. Just leave it on the side of the road somewhere if you can't afford it. At the very least, yes, it's illegal dumping, but at least it'll get picked up instead of being this low class, drive 50 miles out into the wilderness from the nearest town, just to leave a giant heap of trash. And I hope today's video is interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Is that more? Maybe. Something, looks like bumpers. Someone may have slid off the road and got in a crash at this location. What's that back there? Oh, it's just a tree. All right, everyone. I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.